So if you've watched um, basically any of my other videos, you've probably seen this instrument. Um, so today I wanted to talk a little bit about what it is, what it's traditionally um, used for, and yeah. So it's called the Chidangle. Chidangle. And it's from Peru. Um, that's where I'm from. And in Peru they speak Spanish. So the Chidangle is usually, um, or traditionally used for, um, more like folk songs in Spanish, um, Andean songs, dance songs, um, a lot of different things, but they're kind of, the style of music is definitely different from what I usually use it for. So I wanted to demonstrate a little today, um, but first I'm just going to talk about what it looks like and everything. So it's made out of wood, the back is curved, and has 10 strings. They're in groups of two, two, four, six, eight, ten. 10. Um, some of mine are different colors because um, they popped off, but they have um, these tuners at the ends here. Um, you're gonna have to excuse my fingernails. Four year old painted them, but um, yeah, so basically the strings go down. Uh, it's kind of like a little guitar, um, kind of. Some people have told me it looks like a ukulele, um, but it is like, small, very small. And I have this strap that holds it up for me. Um, has a high pitch sound, like that. And um, so the strings are tuned in doubles. So if you listen to each one individually, So they're not um, perfectly tuned right now, but the the pairs are the same note. So I wanted to play a couple songs. Um, I'm going to be filming just this part, um, so you won't see my head, but there are going to be some instrumentals, and then I'll do one singing. So the first one is called Negra del Alma. It's a type of um, piece called a huayno, which is like a dance, and I hope you like it. So there's a change in lighting because I'm filming this later in the day, but um, the next song I have is Ojos Azules, and I'm going to sing it. Um, it's a really famous one. Um, it's in Spanish. It means blue eyes, and I hope you like it. Oh, so soon. 
That was that. Um, still working on my my pitch and all that, but hope you liked it. Um, so now it's gonna rewind back to the past, and you're gonna hear my last song. And then the last one I have for today is called Dos Palomitas, and I'm not really sure what type of piece it is so excuse my ignorance but um it's also instrumental and it's really hard so i hope you like it and um yeah Okay, so those are all the pieces I have for today. Um, I hope you learned something new. I hope you maybe are interested in the charango now. Um, I got this one from my dad, but there are lots of them on Amazon. Um, if you want to learn, I learned completely online um, at first, and then I got a teacher, but um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the pieces. And also, I wanted to say that um, I've been a little absent from YouTube, but I'm going to try to get back on it because, uh, coronavirus. So, uh, I have a lot of free time. I'm just sitting at home and please let me know in the comments if you have, um, any recommendations, anything you want to see, like, is it more travel videos? I don't know how I would travel inside of my home, but you know, I could get creative. Or is it, do you want cooking videos or more singing or more playing? Um, any specific covers or any type of thing that you want? Please let me know. Um, I need some ideas. And thanks for always uh, watching and being so nice to me in the comments. And um, I'll see you soon.